Hey guys, in this video today, we are unboxing the new DaVinci Resolve Micro Color Panel. And just as a comparison, that's the package I just received and that is my iPad. Look at the difference of the size. Obviously there's a box in this box and probably there's some styrofoam and I hope the whole device is a little bit smaller. Smaller, smaller, smaller. But this is my iPad 11 inch with my case from Apple. Look how big or tiny it is in comparison. So we are going to unbox this one now. And voila, that is the DaVinci Resolve Micro Color Panel. That is the newest color panel that is also compatible with the iPad. That's the main reason why I got this, because here on this channel, hey and welcome if you haven't been on the channel, I'm Daniel, and this is all about DaVinci Resolve on the iPad. It even has this little slot where you can put in your iPad. And to be fair, when I saw the announcement and I saw the first couple of videos, I always thought like, ooh, probably this device will be super huge. And you saw the beginning, the big package. Luckily, it was, only that package in which is still a little bit bigger but not as big here as a comparison if we have the iPad now here on that package and inside of that package we have the micro color panel so you have the slot here and the cool thing about the micro color panel is it actually works with DaVinci Resolve on the desktop and also with the iPad via Bluetooth we have a cable here we will now check it if it actually works it could be that it's only working with DaVinci Resolve 19.0 and that one is not yet out of beta what does it mean for the desktop we can download it now we'll probably do the next couple of days and test this but because we don't have 19.0 at the iPad at the moment because it will come out when it's out of beta then on the same day when it's released as a public so like publicly available then we also will have it for the iPad. So that's the only downfall right now. I waited for example two months to get this device since it was announced because I'm sitting in Europe. I ordered it to Germany and I'm actually in Bulgaria right now so some store in Germany now forwarded the package to me in Bulgaria. So let's see if it actually works or not works. So I'm trying to get it connected to either my Mac or my iPad via Bluetooth. So here in the quick start guide that it's coming with the pack, it says how to do it. And actually very simple, you have to connect via USB-C the micro color panel with your laptop or, and that's maybe the problem that I'm having right now, or you have to first charge the device. I'm not sure if it's working straight out of the box, so I guess I have to charge it a little bit. Little bit. I got it so far that here on my Mac at least, sometimes it showed me micro color panel, but then when I click connect, it didn't work. So I will give it some time to charge and see how it works. I couldn't see it here in the Bluetooth, but it says that even on iPad, you just have to connect it via Bluetooth. While on Mac, you can also connect it with the cable. And like I said before, one problem could be that I'm not on DaVinci Resolve 19. I will now check the internet if that is actually true, if you have to have DaVinci Resolve 19, or if it actually works even before. So I double checked, it doesn't work with 18.6. So everything below 19, it doesn't work. So you have to install DaVinci Resolve 19. It would be amazing if they actually would write this here into the quick guide. Maybe it stands stand somewhere there, I couldn't find it, but it would be amazing if, if you are not standing here like me trying to connect that and I couldn't connect it. So also I'm sitting here with a low internet, like a low speed internet. It would take me three hours to just download DaVinci Resolve 19 beta because it's still not out of beta. Hey guys, it took me a while to download DaVinci Resolve 19, but after I reinstalled DaVinci Resolve 19, it was possible to connect the microcontrol panel. And there is a setting in DaVinci Resolve where you can go in and you can even see if everything is connected. And you even just use the USB-C cable. And you have to do one thing. You 
have to come to the preference. So you go up to DaVinci Resolve and then preferences. And then here you will find the settings for the control panels. And here you have to change it to the micro control panel. And this setting is not available if you are still on 18.6. That's the reason why we have to upgrade to version 19. But keep in mind, because we don't have 19 on the iPad right now, if you have a project and you start on 19, if you want to bring it to 18.6 on the iPad, that doesn't work. So you have to wait until 19 is there as well. So be cautious. If you also have the microcontrol panel, you can play around on the laptop or Mac or whatever. But uh, yeah, that's just the, the one thing. But after that, it was working super, super easy, seamlessly, and I expect the same when DaVinci Resolve 19 on the iPad is available as well. That's it for the unboxing video for today. There will be a couple of more videos coming here on the channel about this device, but I'm also planning to create a complete masterclass, same like I did with the speed editor for that device. And that masterclass will be a combination. So everything you learn here obviously applies to the desktop version of DaVinci Resolve and the iPad version. And if you want 50% off when this masterclass will launch, then there is a link in the description. You can put yourself, your name and your email into the waiting list. I did the same when I launched the Speed Editor Masterclass and I did the same when I launched my DaVinci Resolve iPad Masterclass. So everybody who is on that list will get an email with 50% off when the Masterclass is done. It will probably take a bit of time, but that's the way you can get 50%. I hope you liked this video. If yes, hit like, subscribe, ding-a-ding -ding in the bam-bang gong. I'm Daniel. See you in the next video. Bye.